I have to admit, I was skeptical. You see, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC was finally out, Ooh, and the God. question wow. is, it, it, is it is it good? Well, me being the casual fridge owner that I am, I can't really answer that question for you. Although I should have used a Rotom to download this game because what is that? Why? But after spending a hundred hours in this fishbowl, my standpoint on this broken game has changed. And if you watch this channel at all, you probably know that, well, there's gonna be a lot of shiny Pokemon in this video. <laughs> but first and foremost, the most important thing, this is Mac and Cheese. He's one of my one and only shiny alpha Pokemon. And this is the tale of our journey through the Indigo Disc DLC. Now, I'm going to try to avoid most of the story points, but I would like to point out some of my favorite new mechanics, like the gambling addiction that I never, well, I'm an addict now, or some of the nostalgic notes, like how the first step into the terrarium was, is the, is, is this the Kanto Safari Zone? Now, they didn't update the performance issues, or I guess we probably shouldn't talk about how they locked the legends in the post game. So if that's the reason why you bought the DLC, well... <laughs> Uh, you can actually delete the game from your system and system settings right 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 here but one thing that they really did excel in was pampering to my favorite generation if you've watched this channel before you know that gen 5 is my favorite generation from when super potion was just a wee fridge enjoyer i had always loved pokemon but these were the games that changed it all i was so in love that me being on the cross country team at the time ran five miles to the local Target and back to pick up a copy of Black and White with Bullet Punch Lucario, because I didn't think my parents would let me get another copy. And it was on those files that I had found my first random shiny Pokemon. But it wasn't just the shinies that pulled me into my everlasting obsession, it was the creative risk of the art style, a new region-locked Pokedex, the music, the characters, and most importantly, the story, are all but yet unrivaled with a few games that stand beside them. And seeing how much inspiration was pulled from Unova, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I didn't just want a team of shiny Pokemon to complete the Indigo Disc, but I wanted a team of marked shiny Pokemon and tribute to the generation to where it all started. Now for starters, there are so many good shinies in this generation and I didn't really know where to start. Oshawott? No, no, I always, I always use you. No, I needed, I needed something fresh, something hoodlum. Now look, I, I know he doesn't have a belt, but come on, he, he's, he's kind of, he's kind of charming, but charm is not enough. And though my hopes of finding my first shiny in the DLC was certain, let's just say my friends had better luck than me. Maybe Wait, oh what? my goodness. What? Shiny Jilbert. Oh my god. Wait, encounter it oh again. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it here. I yeah, hate it. Nah, 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 nah. Ooh. What? Shiny female mouse meow stick. Oh Shut my up. gosh. Hey, what do you want me to capture it in a freaking ball, genius? Um, you should catch it in a dream ball. Let's go! Baby. God, everybody's gotten shinies except for me. What the heck is going on? Is this shiny? Is <gasps> that him? Bestie? That is him. Bestie, it's Kraken time. Touch it. No. Yeah. I just want Be to admire it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the baby. Look at him. I was a little embarrassed that Damage got his first, but baby. It's okay. Scraggy's better. Oh my god, <laughs> tell me that's not the cutest thing you've oh ever my seen. God. Shut up, Normie. Hey. <laughs> Holy shit. Now, not only did I find Shiny Scraggy, but it also had the Dawn Mark, which actually is a lot more rare than Kitakami because there isn't a time lock in this DLC. So I named him Snot. It was, I felt it was appropriate. <laughs> And with my first member down, I stumbled upon something that would wildly consume my oh, life. You see, in the DLC, the there's a feature that's called Sinker Mode. Oh, and yeah. as fun as it is to run around as Pokemon yeah, when the game suddenly not. became the Legend of Snot, Skyward Pants, <laughs> they broke Mac and Cheese. This is so uncute. What do they do to you, Mac and Cheese? This is as, this is as close as I can get. What is this? I'm playing, I'm playing Gen 1. Look. <laughs> What is this? Oh no. Mac and cheese. No, what did they do to you? 
They nerfed him. <laughs> oh god. They've destroyed cinema. But another thing that they added was something called Blueberry Quests. Now, Blueberry Quests are a multiplayer mode that allow you to unlock certain things in the game, like new club rooms, the starters, or even this cool jukebox. But be warned, doing these Blueberry Quests can be deadly. Oh! What? It's not died. He's dead. But because I was always running around completing these tasks for BP, I was farming encounters and found some things that I didn't particularly like want, but it's fine. Beat 10 wild Pokemon using auto battle. <gasps> That's a shiny Venonat. I really didn't even notice that. Easy. Wait, that's a shiny Sawsbuck. Yo? Shiny? Sawsbuck? Is it shiny? Look, how I noticed that, I, I just, you know, I, I don't know. All right, so shiny Sawsbuck. Wow, cool. <gasps> Wait! Oh my god! That's a shiny Vibrava! What? <gasps> no way! Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on over here. Oh shit. No! No, I don't wanna! God! <laughs> I hate now, this. this is a shiny that I wanted to hunt for a future video, but oh my god, it's marked with the sleepy time mark. Oh my god, that is so cool. And that was honestly like pretty rewarding and I'm very happy with this, so. <laughs> but like most things, what goes up must come down. Great. Like, good <laughs> response. Proud of you for staying in Greg. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, yeah, I was I was having a little too much fun. You know, I had found some shinies that I had really liked, no, hanging out with shiny. friends. I mean, what could go wrong? You know? Can't tell exactly how. Oh my god, this is shiny alone, you dude. What? <laughs> no way. Oh, a Cheeto puff. I was like, wait, that's an orange Pokemon. What is that? Wow. Longer days. <gasps> I'm, I'm gonna throw up. What? It was right what? next to the plaza and I clicked into the plaza bounds. <laughs> no! No way. Tragic. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Good it's game, okay. Bro. It wasn't a Univin Pokemon. You weren't gonna use it anyway. True. <laughs> what was it gonna do sitting in box 13? Can I get five likes? But it's fine. It's fine. Because after all that, I had found all the BP that I needed to unlock my first biome upgrade. Let's just say it was for a particular little pig. Oh, wait. Hello. I'm eating honey mustard pretzels. How are you, Tepig? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Please have a mark. Let's go. Oh. Hello? 1 over 184,432. Those were the odds of finding this specific shiny Pokemon. Now, normally I don't freak out about odds, but well, it's, it's rare. <laughs> At a one in 1,000 chance, you may be lucky if you find a Pokemon with this mark, but a shiny with this mark? That doesn't, well, it doesn't really happen. Now, because I was using a Title Three sandwich with Charm, it was one over 683 multiplied by one over 270, and voila. You have a disgustingly rare shiny. Now, I did tell my server that if we got the math wrong, we would all look like idiots, but shout out to Osmo, Cordilla, and Damage for helping me narrow down this answer. But let's be honest, these were just, these are just too big brained. Anyways, join the Discord. One of the coolest features I found in the game, especially for a Mark Hunter like me, Dude, is the you. new lock-on feature update. 
Whenever you lock on to a Pokemon, there will be a set of symbols that pop up with it. There's just oh. one for a Mark, one for potentially Teensy, and one for potentially Jumbo. And it would be particularly helpful for the next member of my team. But first, I, well, I had to smite Catherine. I am hold on, hold on. Th this is, this is, <laughs> let me punch you. You missed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh no, you can punch me right in the head. Milk or something and just Oh died. my God, what am I talking about? Okay. <laughs> oh yes! Oh my God! Bro, you're just Reinhardt now. It's Dark Souls the this game. This is amazing. I it's like Dark how much Souls the, the game. Just taken up by a hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Damn. This is a ten okay. out of ten game. Ten out of ten game. <laughs> I'm saying. Ten out of ten. Look at this. <laughs> Die. <laughs> He's on a rampage. Double kill. And then there's Catherine. Doing whatever Catherine does. <laughs> Catherine isms. Yeah. Real. Feral malls. Oh, what just happened? I just walked over that man. I am walking over. <laughs> I just walked over that man. I just walked. I am powerful. I am power. I'm too short to do the legend. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm too This is the best. Oh my this God. is the best mode in the game. Whoa. I'm convinced. Take me oh somewhere, my human. Oh, God. Yeah. Ooh, goodbye, Catherine. Wow. I see how it is. <laughs> As you can tell, I was probably enjoying I'll myself with my well, tiny a little, little too much. But before I could call it for the day, I figured why not get started on the next team member? Uh, wrong. You're the... Anyways. But the shiny I actually had in mind was Whimsicott. And let's just say, well, it, it showed up quick. I mean, literally. Oh my, right after the sandwich. What? What? After Wait. the sandwich? I'm. Oh, I see. Brother. 50 what? seconds in. You beat my record. <laughs> 50 <laughs> seconds in. Sparkling oh, power, was man. it? No. Oh what the heck? My. And then days passed. Not a cotton ball in sight. I was growing hysterical. I killed them all. I hate them. They're like animals. I slaughtered them all. Look, I know it's not the best, but I was, I was inspired. <gasps> hey, Cottony. Are you? Oh my gosh! Thank you. All right, pardon me. Ferocious Mark. So I have a very angry cotton ball. <laughs> okay. This is everything. I don't know who decided to make this whiteboard, but they deserve a raise. I would actually buy Pokemon cards if they looked like this. Until this room would become the things that I never thought I would become. An addict. Amongst all the cool things that you can do with BP, like decoring your league room with aesthetics from the greatest generation, or getting a jukebox to play Castalia's greatest hits, but there lies a demon, the item printer. Now, unlike its predecessor, the Cramomatic, the item printer actually has use, but the printer doesn't just give us things that we don't need, but things that we do need, like rare balls, ability patches, bottle caps, shards, and let me tell you, it has consumed my life. I wasn't kidding when I said I was an addict. But speaking of things that I didn't think I'd be interested in are outbreaks. Now, normally I like to make things more difficult for myself because, I don't know, it's just the thrill of the hunt. But I figured, why not? Now, I know that this specific Pokemon isn't a Gen 5 Pokemon, but it's it's literally the Sky Arrow Bridge. So I thought, maybe I can make an exception for this one team member. Now, I had two names in mind. Castalia, if I found a female, and Skyro, if it was male. And I was actually pretty worried about this one because I was worried if... <gasps> oh... God. Also, I'm really sorry. I thought I was recording my friends when I found this. So if it sounds like I'm talking to myself, I, trust me, I'm... I, I mean, I do that, but anyways. 
not exactly turned around, but you know what? It works. It works. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or yes, ma'am. All right, caught off guard. Let's go. <gasps> Crit cap. Let's go, finally. Tinkaton being my favorite Generation wow. 9 Pokemon. Now, how to rival. So good. I love this Pokemon is, is like so is worth it. Tight. It is so cool. And not to mention, it had the Dawn Mark, which kind of just gave me that imagery of the sun rising over Castalia City and quickly became one of my favorites in my playthrough. But speaking of favorites, there were a ton of Gen 5 references that a lot of people probably missed, like how in the Terrarium, the nature preserve from Black and White 2 was perfectly placed in the canyon biome, which made me so happy and, to be honest, will probably be a future video, so make sure you're subscribed if you're not. One of the things that I would have really loved to see were phenomena, or even Darmanitan statues from the original game. Now, even if the phenomena weren't actually encounters, it would have been really nice for him. It's a little what? girl. <laughs> Country girl, I love you. Yep, her name is Country. Oh, that's cool, man. I actually wanted her to be... Oh, a sleepy time mark. She's sleepy. And quirky. <laughs> Country! This means I have... Oh, man, I have six Pokemon. Yeah, no, I, I need one more. And it was one of the saddest nerfs in Indigo Disc, but I needed it. Reuniclus. Solosis used to be a beautiful blue. Well, you'll just have to see what I mean. No, actually, I may have gotten Diamond Dust again. No, this is going to be Wait a minute. I just found it. Or this one. You're kidding. You are actually kidding. How did I even notice that? How did I notice that? I... Is that... Oh, man. <laughs> not yeah, this more. was the moment I realized that I was God. See, Sazbuck was just training. But not shortly after, I had found the one that I was looking for. That's shiny. That is shiny, and it's Mar. <laughs> Thank you. But I messed up and I caught it in a dream ball. And look, for dream ball purposes, I'm gonna keep it on the team, but I normally box on common marks because they're just, I don't know, it just it's just not fun. And I'm actually kind of glad I kept it on the team. You see, Trick Room Skill Swap actually devastated Drayton when I stole Levitate from Flygon when its only way to attack me was Earthquake. But it turns out I didn't really even need Trick Room for our emotional little problem child, and well, the trials were actually super fun. Lacey pretty much has the best character in the game. She is so cute, and her personality is so fitting to her design. Look, I, I need whatever pose this is for my trainer. If, if it's a thing, please tell me in the comments. But despite the kind of mid-story that Indigo Disc provided, because I still have so many questions despite the secret ending, which also if you've done Terrapagos and haven't gone to the Crystal Pools in Kitakami, please do that. You're welcome. But also may end up getting its own video. The Indigo Disc was completely worth it. The characters, the Gen 5 love, and the time that I spent with friends made the entire experience. And it did make me want to look at Scarlet and Violet in a different way, even though it is, you know, broken. And that's when I decided I was going to start fresh. Now, if you're in the Discord server, I am going to be trading away boxes of shiny Pokemon that I have from these games. Now, I did this for the Teal Mask, but I think hunting for marks is a lot of fun. So, I want all of my shiny Pokemon to be marked. And also, too, we have some pretty fun adventures coming up, and we're going to be grinding to hit our first 100,000 subscribers. So, I don't know. Subscribe. But for now, I'm Super. And this is Mac and Cheese, and we'll see you in the next one.
can I get five likes?